Hello and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's topic, we have actually three different topics. The first one is Elon Musk and what happened with Dogecoin. The second one, it, the other topics are going to be there's going to be a short video of showing you police planting drugs to get an arrest, a cop actually being a bully to a bystander that is recording what they're doing. And then the final little clip, each clip is at max a minute long. <clears throat> and the final clip is basically um, good old Mitch McConnell talking about what 100% of their focus is for the, the Biden administration. But to start off with, let's actually talk about Dogecoin and Elon Musk. Well, as you know, Elon Musk was on SNL on Saturday night. And he basically promoted uh, Dogecoin. And before we got on Saturday Night Live, I noticed I saw Dogecoin up go up to 74 cents. And then after all that stuff was done, I watched as the Dogecoin tanked out. I mean, it dropped to like, I think it was like 39 cents from 74 cents, like almost in a minute. And it's just barely recovering. I mean, I'm still invested in it. I, I'm not, I didn't invest a whole lot. I pulled out and only invested a small amount into it. And so basically, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to make a little bit of money off Dogecoin. I'm not sure yet. But like I said, I mean, Dogecoin did tank out pretty hard uh, after Elon Musk's appearance on SNL. And he, like I said, he is planning to do uh, Dogecoin to the moon is what he says. He's planning to send Dogecoin to the moon. And actually... See what happens then. I'm, I'm hoping Dogecoin before then, because it's supposed to happen next year sometime, from what I understand. Um, I hope Dogecoin will actually lift in price so I can actually make some profit off it instead of just making a few pennies here and a few pennies there off it, because it's not really worth my time. And I've also noticed that as Dogecoin tanked out, so did a lot of the other cryptocurrencies out there. I mean, Bitcoin dropped, Ether dropped, Litecoin dropped, all the cryptocurrencies dropped after that. And they're just barely recovering. I mean, right now I think Dogecoin is at, I think, 44, 45 cents a share. Now I'm not exactly sure. I haven't checked in the past couple hours. But it's just slowly coming back. And hopefully it'll come back with a, with a strong aggression and just jump out there and kick some butt. And like I said, our other topics that I, just, that I want to talk to you about is, I'll do, I'll do it in random order. We'll start off with Mitch McConnell and his, what 100% what, what of his focus is on doing when it comes to Biden administration. So I'll let you watch this short little clip and then I'll be right back. Thank you. 100% of our focus is on stopping this new administration. And as you noticed, Mitch McConnell straight up said, that 100% of the Republicans' focus is going to be on stopping the Biden administration. Not helping the people out. Not helping the country out. Stopping Biden's administration. How messed up is that? These Republicans are so corrupt, they need to go. Because they're really hurting our economy, and they're hurting our country, and they're hurting our people. Republicans are... Mitch McConnell and most other... Uh, Republicans in the Senate minus nine are a bunch of treasonous traitors and they need to be brought up on charges for everything they've done because they haven't really done nothing for the people. They've just been playing games and the Democrats have been trying to help the people out but be getting shot down by the Republicans every chance they get. They say they did last year and the funny thing about Republicans is, is I'm not sure if I told you about this, last year Donald, not, I think it was not last year, so, so sometime during Trump's administration, he came up with a $2.2 trillion infrastructure plan. The Republicans were all behind it. I mean, all behind it. And now that President Biden has come up with a $2.2 trillion infrastructure plan, the Republicans want nothing to do with it. What is wrong with the Republicans nowadays? I think they're pretty messed up. And if you have any comments on this, please free. Uh, feel free to actually comment on any or all my videos. I reply to you as fast as I can. I want to throw a shout out to my uh, to my good viewers and uh, call them friends as well because they're my friends. I guess that'd be Tommy and Freddie if he sees it. 
uh, Freddie, I haven't seen him on for a couple, a little bit. I hope he's okay. But hey, out there to Tommy and Freddie. And our next topic is, as you'll see it, it's actually a cop planting drugs at a crime scene just to get an arrest. I'll let you check the video out, and I'll be right back. Man, what a crack he just put it, it yeah, he just, I'm saying, I'm, 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 I'm recording, I'm recording. No, no, she recording, she recording, she recording, she recording, she recording, she recording. Get out the way, run, 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 And as you saw, you saw the cop planting the drugs and getting videotaped while he's doing it and getting caught and most likely, he, you know what happened with that. I mean, they, I think that's all of the news nowadays because someone actually caught that on video and it went viral. And the um, cops in question is now in trouble. Good. I'm glad he is. We don't need cops like that. And it's just messed up that cops will actually plant shit just to get an arrest. I mean, if they actually probably would have done, done a drug test on that person... After that person planted the narc, that cop planted narcotics there by them, they would have probably showed up clean and probably tried to accuse him as being a dealer, even though dealers also do their narcotics as well. Because once they sell the max amount they need to sell to get their money back, they have all this leftover stuff that they can use themselves or just sell and make extra money off of. I'm not exactly sure because I'm not a drug dealer, <laughs> thank god, but um. That corrupt cop needs to be sanctioned and basically fired. And he also needs to be charged with possession of narcotics because just because he's a cop doesn't mean he's above the law. And then our last video clip of today will be of a bully. That's right, you heard me, a bully in a police uniform. In other words, a cop being a bully to a bystander videotaping them as they do their job to make sure they do their job correct. So I'll let you click that, check that video clip out, and I'll be right back. How are you today? Do you have permission to be on this property? Can I get your name of Ed? No, you can't. I need your ID, please. Do you, have your ID? Do you have your ID? I need to see your ID. Are you refusing Did to ID yourself? Did I commit a crime? You're failing to ID Did yourself. Did I commit a crime? You are failing to ID yourself. Did I commit a crime? I'm going to go ahead and detain you for that property. Okay? Failing to identify yourself. Failing to ID yourself. Failing to ID yourself. You're being detained because you're failing to ID yourself. I ask for your ID. Are you refusing to ID yourself? Did I commit a crime? Are you refusing to ID yourself? Did I commit a crime? Yes, you did. Failing to ID yourself. Did I commit a crime? And as you saw, that cop was just way out of line, bullying a person, videotaping them doing their job. I mean, in I think I forget exactly what state it is in the United States, they've actually made it a felony to videotape the police doing their job. What's wrong with that picture right there? I mean, come on, really? We videotape the police to have them do their job, to make sure they do their job correctly and don't try to plant evidence that's not, you know, like the drugs from the previous video. Make the cops do their job right. So we can actually feel safe and secure with the police and not have to worry about them planting shit on us or being a bully. I mean, luckily, I'm not sure if the cops here in Utah where I live actually are that way where they're going to be a bully or plant narcotics on suspects for getting arrest because... If you understand the quota for, well, I guess there's no quota for cops arresting people. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> he said, I don't think the cops here in Utah are bullies or anything like that. I mean, of course, I avoid the cops here in Utah because, you know, I don't really break the law. He says it's not really worth my time to break the law. But, we're out here to actually make the cops do their job and do it correctly. That's why we, that's why we have the freedom to basically record what's going on when it comes to the police to make sure they do their jobs. But before I go on and rant and rave and keep going on about this cop thing, <laughs> which I don't want to do, I think I will say for tonight, for right now, I will 
speak to you guys later. I will try to broadcast again tomorrow or Wednesday, whichever is convenient for me to get this taken care of for you guys. And as any more information comes available, I will give it to you guys so you guys are well informed. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and have an excellent night. Until next time, bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party. I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the guns, fly, hit the guns, fly. I'm living out in